Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jason, Zombie Collector, and I wanted to show you some uh, pickups I have uh, uh, gotten in the mail since my uh, my continued eBay uh, purchasing of a dollar per card, free shipping. It really is amazing, guys, what you can get on eBay if you're just patient and just look around and kind of think outside the box a little bit, or think inside the box for that matter. Like, I have 40 cards I'm, I, I'm uh, winning right now for a dollar, and yeah, you're not going to win them all, but I mean, if I even win like a third of them, that's still pretty good, and like I said, I mean, that's not too shabby, especially since there's lack of shows and card shops to go to, and prices are going through the roof or through the nose, uh, you know, it's a good way to kind of, you know, uh, it scratch the itch, if you know what I mean. So with that being said... I picked up this uh, Derek Jeter sample rookie card. Now, I know it's not his real rookie card. I think it's a few years past his rookie. It was like, uh, what year is it? 95, I think? 96. 96 Pinnacle. So it was like three years past his rookie. But it still says rookie on it, which is cool. It's a sample card. as a back. This is probably going to be one of them slab cabbages. Or if you're a George in uh, South Korea, a slab kimchi. So there you go. So I thought that'd be a cool one to get. I don't know if it's going to be worth anything uh, slab because I know it's not a real rookie card, but it is what it is. Next one up is Eloy Jimenez. Chrome from the 1985 design. Tops Chrome is a super cool. I believe this is from 2020, isn't it? I believe this is a 2020 product. It was really cool. I liked it. It has lots of shine to it. Um, I'm not a really big... By no means when I say I'm a prospector, because we all know that's not the case. I probably, if I was prospecting, I would not be getting a random Eloy Jimenez Topps Chrome uh, insert card here. But it was cool. And whenever I see something for, like I said, a dollar, and, I had, and they and they have a little bit of a little bit of heat, a little bit of excitement behind them, you know, I'm like, hey, I'll, I'll pick it up. You know, it might be worth something down the road. Uh, and next one up, another Eloy Jimenez is uh, Camo from the Bowman. And again. I don't know. I think this is like, uh, from what year is this? 2019. So I know this is like a, not a rookie card, but like a pre-rookie. So I don't know. Is that such a thing as a pre-rookie card? I don't know. Um, but anyways, I saw this again for a dollar. He looked, he was running right towards me. He's like, Jason, p please buy me. So guess what I did? And then I have, uh, picked up a couple of Maddox cards. These are some Maddox insert cards. Shout out to Bill, the Hall of Fame collector. Um, you know, Bill wishes he had a collection like me with these Greg Maddox cards. So this is a hallowed highlights of Greg Maddox tosses 76 pitch complete game. Talk about efficiency, 76 pitches. Next up is a uh, bunt card. Shockingly, I did not have. And this is actually just an insert, a, a, a base card. This guy threw it. I know, I know. He threw it in. It's weird. If you look on the back of this card... There's an extra, like, little sleeve he stuck in here. Like, he stuck a little sleeve on the back. You can see here. And he inserted this on there. I have no idea why he did that. I guess to protect the top loader. Sometimes these people, you don't, you can't even understand why they do what they do. But he threw that in there, so I just I showed it off. I think I already have that card. Because I started looking at it, and I'm like, hold on, wait, that's a base card. A card that's not a base card is this upper deck right here of Greg Maddox with the uh, is, he, is he with the uh, like he's with the Dodgers there. As Maddox doesn't allow a hit in his Dodgers debut, this is Mad Dog silences Reds slugger. Uh oh, that's not cool. He silenced my Reds sluggers. I don't think the word sluggers would be the would ever be used for the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, but who knows? But season highlights. I thought it was at season's greetings. The season's greetings from Greg Maddox. So there you go. There's a there was, uh, insert there. Then I picked up a couple Ichiro's. rows. This is a cool one here. This is from the National Leaf Leaf National from 2012. I think if you all remember Ichiro cited, a, if I'm not mistaken, I'm sure Ichiro, I'm not Ichiro, I collect Ichiro Ray would be able to speak to this. Ichiro had a couple years where he signed an exclusive exclusive contract with Panini, and he did not show up in any Topps products, or, or very few. Uh, but I think this is one of those. I think this was about the time that he started that for a couple years. So here he is in a, a national, uh, what do you call it, national, is it baseball card day, or 
national some kind of little insert. It says a VIP on the back. VIP, very important pain. Number four with Ichiro. It's a cool card. Did not have that one for my collection. Next one up is a uh, Gaudi looking there. Big League of Ichiro. There's a couple variations of these cards, I believe. I don't believe I had this variation, but I just love this card. It was very clean looking. I think they had different short prints or variations. This one's probably going to get graded if I don't have if I, if I have another one of these. I'll just look them over and see which one looks better. Uh, the next one is the uh, die cut of this Topps Chrome Ichiro Total Zone Runs Above Average 2000s in the 2000s. I can't even tell you what Total Zone Runs even means. I'm not even going to try to front, but it does look cool. It has like an X feel to it if you kind of see like the, the right here. Uh, so there you go. So there's an insert card that I did not own of Ichiro. And then lastly, this one was really cool. We're kind of doing this again with Upper Deck, or I'm sorry, with Panini, uh, with like uh, the big head. What do you call it? Whammies, I believe they're called whammies. Whammies. Well, this kind of has that feel to it. Uh, this is a Power Up of Upper Deck. This was a, I don't I don't think this actually was an insert card. I think this was a actual release set. I don't remember seeing it. It came out in 2000 and. Three or four, it looks like. So, anyways, I had never seen this before. I thought it was, like, cool looking. It's one of the few times you see Ichiro smiling on a card, actually. He hardly ever smiles. I mean, he looks like he's all business when he's on the field. I mean, I don't even know. I mean, I, even, like, his, uh, his like, last couple days playing, they have all this Topps card, like, tribute cards. I don't really remember him smiling. He's just kind of looking off in the crowd and, like, waving this, like, yes to my fans. But, you know, so it's cool to see a car where he's kind of smiling because you don't see that too often. Because he's business, BAU baby, business as usual on the field. So anyways, guys, these are a couple of my cards of picks up, pickups I've had over the uh, last uh, month or two. Hope you all enjoy the video. And until next time, peace.